All right, so I need every one of you now. You want to go. You want to go invite. All right, we got the next four to five minutes to kick start this training. You want to go invite every one of your enemies, your friends, you know, your well wishers, everyone. You want to get them on the. I'm super grateful. I'm really grateful from my heart. You know, uh, you know that we've gotten this far. You know, so you, you guys want to extend the love. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to extend the love. Uh, invite. Don't send. For, for, for some of you that are the special guests in the building, do not send the link to. You know, you want to send. We are live on YouTube. We are live. Let, let's say hello to, you know, the bar. I want to say hello to everyone. I want to say hello to Instagram. I want to say hello to Facebook. Uh, okay, the only place we're, we're not on right now is. Is on Facebook. All right, say hello. You guys say hello on YouTube. Okay, for some of you, if you want to get a feel of the screen, you 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 want to jump on the YouTube. It's gonna be amazing. All right, when you're on the YouTube, you can stay on here, but just just stay in that environment. Uh, good. Say hello. Say, say say hello. Say hello on YouTube. For those of you on YouTube, say hello. All right. If you're super excited, put in your your location. You know how the energy goes. Put in your location where you're joining us from right now. You could go get your groups, your chairmen, everyone. You want to get them, or I want. Uh, uh, um, what I want to do. This will be the first of of what it is I want to be doing within the next two weeks. All right, in training when it comes to technical analysis. All right, so you guys want to make sure you got all your loved ones here. All right, all, all, New Jersey, Istanbul. Lucky Lagos, all right, babe. I, I let me turn off. All right, good. Are you guys? Give me. I'm not playing any music. I'm live on YouTube, so music disrupt my my flow on YouTube. You always sense all my activity, so I don't like playing music. So I'm the vibe. I'm the music. You guys are going to. You're gonna experience the music me. Okay. I'm super excited. Brooklyn, New York, Nairobi, Kenya. Okay. We got to get this house full. Right. We got to get this house full. Three minutes to go. We got to get the house full. You guys want to, you don't want to miss out on the sensation. Good. I know some of you are, are booting in on YouTube. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can, at least for the benefit of today, all right? Get your guest on. You guys wanna get your guest on, all right? You guys wanna get your guest on. Rep the cities, what's happening here? Uh, wait, the people here, no, you know what? I can decentralize this training right now. You guys know, right? I can decide to decentralize it. I can decide to leave Zoom, <laughs> right? And let's just be on, on your team. What's the time over there in Australia? 2 a.m. She don't be sleeping. That's the time I was joining Ness, Ivan Cabra. All right, I, I, I'm not sleeping. From that time, we don't sleep. That, I don't sleep. That, I wake up from that time, I don't sleep. <laughs> All right, Ivan Cabra, 1 a.m., next 2 a.m. Uh, who's coming on three? I think, uh, was it Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, I used to be. When I was learning, I experienced, you know, these, these, these are times I used to experience these people, okay? Then I stayed on, I stayed on 4 p.m., Matitea, all right? Then I created mine. <laughs> That's what it is, all right? That's what it is. You have to put in the time for you to be able to create your own convenience. Today, I create my own convenience and I'm helping you guys create your own convenience. But that, that, is, that, is, that is what it is, okay? So uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the numbers. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not credited yet, all right, to get started. It can't be, we can't be as low as this. What's happening? You guys, no, no, the energy is low. The energy shows in the numbers. 
Enugu in the building. Monster in Melbourne, India, Adamawa. All right. So I need you guys to do something very, very quick. Lay out your expectation. I always love to do that. All right. Vocalize your expectation. Put it out. What, what do you expect from this training? Okay. You are the one in charge. I'm just a vessel. What do you expect? Say it out loud. We've gotten started. Say it out loud. All right. Like when I say say it out loud, I mean write it. Bold. Okay. Write it bold. 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 Love you, Kenry. Kenry loves you too. Okay. Um, for those of you on IG, all right, eight. In commemoration of IG, that is why it's on live, it's live on IG, okay? Because the truth is I'm celebrating this because you guys followed, you stayed close, right? You've, you've made me go, you, you, you've given me an opportunity to get better at what it is that I do in my skill, in my entire activity, right? So I'm doing this to honor you, but if you really want to get a feel of what's happening, you should be seeing the screen, all right? Because I want to train. And uh, I'm going to turn the screen anyway because uh, there's no, I'm not censoring anything yet. I'm going to turn the screen. So if you want to stay here, that's fine. All right. But you want to you want to try as much as possible to get everyone you're close to, the team, you want to get them in this environment. Because this is a movement. I want to get as many people to get moving with us. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Ken Vimo, and I happen to be a student of the IAM Mastery Academy. I got started three years ago. And uh, I knew nothing about trading. I never loved the environment. But by the grace of God, I was able to see the things that really didn't make me you know, love the environment. And I put in time to learn, right? And as we speak, I'm one of the student educators with the academy, you know, one of the top, one of the top educators in the system, all right? And um, by the grace of God, the goal is to actually empower families to come to a place where through the skill, you could actually what upgrade your income. Because if you learn the skill that I know today, I'm independent of money. I I don't live in the environment of money anymore, all right? Because I learned long ago, money moves in the, in the direction of value, all right? So through this academy, I've been able to get lots of value that I now give to people. And guess what? In return, it's happening. It could happen for you too. Personally, you could administer your own income when you learn the skill to multiply what your finances, all right, in the market, in the largest financial market in the world. You could learn how to trade cryptocurrency. You could learn how to trade stocks. You could learn how to trade commodities. You could learn how to trade high-frequency forex through our academy, all right? And you could learn how to be a business owner, staying in an environment of success. These are things that I've pretty been able to learn in this environment. And by the grace of God, all right, it has put a sense of urgency in me to help other people because we live in a world where a lot of people love not to take responsibility of what it is that is happening in their life. But I've been able to come to, the moment you start taking responsibility for what it is that is showing up in you, in your front, that's when your success begins, all right? So you need to stay around the, the environment of people who have what it is you're looking for. And that is what the I Am Academy has given to us. So today I'm doing a training on one of our amazing you know, uh, blessing, it's called a double blessing strategy, the hourglass, all right? We have a system of tools, it's almost like an ATM machine. Am I fast? Am I being fast? Something tells me I'm talking like my radio days, <laughs> like I'm presenting on my radio. <laughs> like I, I, I'm, trying, I, I'm trying to throw the bars, like I, I, I'm trying to go, in, you know, I'm trying to go into the recording room, okay? All right, so let me take it slow. Let me take it slow. <laughs> I catch myself sometimes, guys. Don't mind me. So um, it's gonna. This is what. How do you learn? You learn when you have something in front of you repeating. What there's com there's competition on repetition. When there is competition on repetition, mastery is what achieved. Right. That's something you. That's something you want to write down. It's not a nugget. It's a rule. Okay. When there is competition on repetition. Okay, mastery is achieved. Kenry, what do you mean? Some of you don't set challenge for competition. I'm very competitive when it comes to learning, all right? And within the course of the mentorship that I, I'm, I'm gonna be, okay, all right. 
how would I say it? Have a competitive learning environment. Okay, one thing I do is I set standards that are beyond me so that I don't have to sleep on them. I have a competitive learning spirit. Okay, if I see someone who has the same ear, two, two eyes, just two nostrils, and they are very good at what it is they do, I want to learn what it is they did and I want to better them. All right. That is a good competitive spirit. I have that. So if I see people around me doing something, I want to say, okay, if this person can do it, I will be better. So what it is they do, I learned from them, but the truth is I have a competitive spirit to better them. So I do an upgrade of what it is that they've done. All right. That is, that is one thing. If you get close to me, I'm going to help you do. It's all, it's all in the instructions. All right. Learn. Stay connected. Follow instruction. So there's something about our glass the tool called hourglass. I need everybody to write hourglass, all right? And the more you start seeing it, so a lot of people see it as, if, as just a means to make money. No, I see it bigger than that. That's why I use it greater than that. That hourglass, all right? In the hands, it's going to mean several things in the hands of who is using it, okay? So the first thing I'm going to advise is as I get to expose our glass to you, so the, this training is going to happen today and Thursday, okay? So I want you guys, I probably, I don't, I don't think I've done a training on our glass the way I want to do a training on our glass today, okay? I want to come from a different point of view. Everyone, I need you guys to listen and pay attention, okay? Everything in our hands are tools, all right? Everything in our hands are tools, write that down. Everything that we get exposed to in the system, they are tools. What are tools used for? To achieve something, all right? The tools are used to achieve something. So the system actually is meant to help you, all right? Save stress, time, energy, and money. That's what the system is meant for. In the system is a tool called hourglass. In the hourglass, there are several strategies. And one of the strategies is the double blessing strategy. But what a lot of people do, they are consumed by the vehicle. Okay? So this, this, this few, I don't, I don't want to call them nuggets. They are really part of training. Okay? Because I, I got to ask, why is this thing so simple? But a lot of people find it confusing to grasp. Okay? And what the Spirit told me is, you are looking at it in the wrong way. Well, how did you look at it, Cambridge? Oh, then I begin to study how I really looked at the hourglass. Why am I using hourglass in the first place? I asked myself. I'm a technical trader. I know how to trade. In fact, I don't necessarily need a tool to trade. I want to put it out to you guys, and this would really change everything. I don't need a tool to trade. Okay, I, I came from the environment of trading that, see, I want you guys to watch and listen to my words. I'm going to say words, but you want to pay attention to the meaning, all right? Because that's really what, that's how I learned and I practiced. Do I need hourglass to trade? Absolutely no. Okay. I, I can trade without hourglass. Ivan Cabra can trade without our, Every trader can trade without hourglass. Hourglass is just a tool to achieve something, all right? And I've seen that the majority of people who come in here, they want to use the, if they're not getting hourglass, they feel they don't know how to trade. That's the, that's best, the wrong mindset, a lot of people. They think trading is, the trading hourglass is the knowledge of trading. No. So one of the things I want to help people do is you use, uh, you use tools to amplify, simplify the skill. Write that down. All right. So you know why I made this training? Charting plus hourglass. Okay. Well, I'm trying to see how much time I can use here. So we have this 414. Are you guys already feeling excited? You're already feeling excited about what you, you, you're going to expect. All right. So you're going to pay attention to this first part. Our glass is a tool. It's supposed to be a tool in my hand to what? 
to amplify, simplify, all right, and make the skill readable, easy. All right, that is, that is. So when you have the right mindset about the tool, you're gonna use it well and not complicate it. So I see a lot of people, and you guys could judge right. Not, not, not that you want to judge. You could just judge right that. You feel when you're not getting something about hourglass, there's something you're missing about trading. How many of you put in a five? Put in a five on the chart if you think if you're there, right? You're there, you're there, you're there, you're there. You were there or you've experienced something. You think you're missing out on something if you don't know how to trade, right? Good. In hourglass, it's everything that has to do with what the technical, the skill. So what should I pay attention to in the skill? I've taught you guys before, but because I'm bringing it in a different dimension, we're all going to link it to the two, all right? We're all going to link it to a strategy mm -hmm. so that you know that it's the trader is you. The tool is what communicates what you want to trade, not show you what to trade. Mm, that is it. The car does not tell you where you want to go. You use the car to go where you want to go. Are you guys already getting this truth? Are you guys already getting this truth? Put in, I get it on the chat. So I see people, if you're one of them, say one. I am not seeing trades. All right? I'm not getting trades. This thing is not giving the right trade. The trades are not right. All right? It's all in here. I wasn't supposed to use our glass to get trade. I was supposed to look at for where I want to trade in our glass. All right, so it tells me it's a confirmation. It's what simplifies what I know. So the destination is really from something, the skill, all right? This is just what shows me. So what I really want you guys to focus on in the next three months. Kimberly, why did you say three months? All right, know where you're going in the market before you trade. That is the whole idea of why I teach charting, all right? So you guys already know that this is not a one day affair, but I'm just trying to, because we're doing this, I just want you guys to have a feel of where you, when you set the right focus, everything is different. Set the right focus. So let me administer our glass in view of this training. Are you guys ready? So our glass is, a, is an indicator software that tells you how to buy and sell, all right? So the first thing that happens in the market is <laughs> I want to either buy or sell. So the simplicity of our glass is it shows me, all right, when a buy is good and when a sell is good. Okay. So, but first, this, this training is not really for basic, but a basic person can understand this. How can we? You will now want to go learn what would bring this to. This is an intermediate training, but a basic person could understand it because it's going to be so simple the only thing that you will do after the session is that you're going to go to what where is it you're going to learn what to get you here it's going to be so simple very very simple right mm. are you guys ready just put ready on the chat okay let me see if i can turn the screen now mm. let's see if it's going to be better like this all right good. I don't know. You guys just manage it there. Okay, good. So I will go to pure basic forex. All right. I want to see. I'm not going to teach you like basic, basic, but chatting. So, all right. So, what chatting? Charting gives me destination. Charting gives me location. All right? Charting tells me where I should go. Okay? Charting shows me the present location and strength of the market. Technical analysis. So when I mention charting, I'm referring to technical analysis. The market responds to analysis called technical. All right? The market, market reacts to analysis called what? Sentiment and fundamentals. You guys, I don't know if I'm too fast, but take notes. This is also recorded, which means 
The market responds to technical analysis. It reacts to sentiment and fundamental analysis. Have you guys heard this before? Yes or no? All right. The market responds. It's almost like respect, but respond, all right? Then it reacts. So sentiment reacts, market reacts to sentiment. If I put in too much money in the market, all right? If I put in money for a buy in the market, what will happen? The market will react and the candles will go up. Okay? If I sell a certain currency, Okay, I put volume. So the way volume is going to be put in the market, that sentiment, how traders are putting volume or taking volume out of the market, is called what? Sentiment. That's what we, we see in our glass, all right? That's what we see in currency strength meter. So right now, how traders react to the market, okay? So if I see Euro JPY, uh, let me go to volume. Good. So guess what every trader in the world do? The reason I'm teaching you this thing some of you are in the academy, you've gone through it, but I'm making it something very simple. Before you trade, you always come somewhere, all right? It means there are more sentimental traders in the market than technical. So this is how sentimental trader looks. They come to the currency trend volume and they want to see how other traders like them are reacting. So if I see CAD JPY, what am I going to do? I'm going to buy. So majority of traders in the world they are going to buy card JPY. So what's going to happen to card JPY? Over time, you're going to see volume increasing card because why they are putting the bias of the market is card is stronger. JPY is going to is weak. Card is strong, so the market is going to buy. So if you go to card JPY, what you're going to see, all right? I'm giving you guys a basic feel. So if I come on here right now and I search card JPY. So what you're going to see is what? An upward movement, all right? Can you guys see? An upward movement. This is why the market is buying. So this is going to help people is, how do I know the market is going to buy? First is, you're going to know the market is buying when you see that the base currency is stronger than the quote. So your buy sentiment is going to follow the what? the the volume of the market all right that is it so it reacts so uh, the, the reaction of the market is an uptrend right now because why card is stronger than jpy does this make simple sense put simple sense on the chart all right so this is sentiment so we short term traders play more on what sentiment you have to understand that so you don't begin to question why the market is reacting the way it reacts all right but there's another thing it's called what fundamentals fundamentals also causes the market to react depending on how the news after so guess what happened i don't know how true it is but whatsapp they said the shares or the volume of uh the net worth of the, uh i don't know if it's a meme or whatever it is but i don't know how true it is someone just let me know i don't want to say something out there that i don't know but i said dropped by seven billion is that true just from yesterday I've seen uh, my, uh, the guy, Amazon, Jeff Bezos, within an hour or within a day, lost 100, uh, uh, is it 100 million dollars or, yeah. Some good amount of billions <laughs> in a day because of what? Something that happened in the market. Somebody say, yes, yes. Okay, it's true, right? Is it true? So I, I wanna know, very true. Good. I saw I saw it. I saw it. I think I saw the first seven billion in five hours. Okay. Seven billion in five hours. That's called sent. That's fundamental. Something happened. People reacted. The currency lost value. Facebook is a currency. It lost value because people reacted. Investors reacted. All right. That's called reaction. Guess what happens in the market? Mm -hmm. There is another one that the market, it doesn't react, it responds, okay? And this is where, what makes you a Forex trader is your ability to know where the market is going to respond. I don't know if I'm too deep, but I'll, I'll just lay it out. 
every technical or sent every sentiment or fundamental is controlled by how people react. But guess what causes people, majority of the volume traders, people of the banks, federal government, these people don't just play on. We retail traders play more on this reaction. Big boys, they play more on what technical? Price action, all right? So I wanna just show us a few things, then I introduce charting, you guys know. So three things that the market responds to in technical, write it down, number one, trend, all right? So a technical trader that is trading for the bank, right, does not go to currency strength meter and look at what boys, the small boys are doing in the market. You guys get me, so I get you. They don't look at the news. <laughs> All right. They just go on the chart and they see if the market is coming to a certain area, they know where they are going to put what. So this is the floor of the market. This is the ceiling of the market. All right. So whenever, wherever you see me put some, this is a floor. All right. This is a ceiling. Okay. Good. Just want to show you something. So between here and here, you don't know what is going to react. Yes or no. So if this market was here, between here and here, you don't know what is going to happen. Yes or no. All right. I need you guys to follow me and be a little fast on the chat. All right, you don't know what's going to happen. So here was a ceiling. All right, why? How do I know, Cambry? How do you know it's a ceiling? Whenever the market gets to a certain area and drops, that area is known to be what a ceiling. Wherever a market gets to a certain area and goes up, that area is known to be a floor. So this is what a technical trader do, because the market is going to respond, not react necessary it's going to respond all right so when it came here it sold down so in the future of the market that place is a ceiling technical traders boom what happened to the market when it got there again did it respond or it reacted some people are going to now be some people are quiet i can feel it in my spirit Okay, I'll bring it to HFS and how you react so that you know where you're going. You know, when we teach most of this stuff, people don't understand it because the mindset behind why people learn is just money, money, money. But the mindset be behind learning is control. You want to control, all right, your income. You want to be in charge. You want to have a knowing that makes you control money, okay? So how many, let me get a response. If you're not responding, I'm not teaching. So that is, that is me. If you're not responding, let the market react or responded. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The two words can be the same, but I just want you to pick something, all right? Market responded to what? The ceiling. It respected the ceiling for itself, all right? It respected the ceiling for itself. So can I tell you the truth? You know why I say respected? I said, when this market was going up, I get you, I bet you, if you look at the currency strength, because this is an uptrend. You guys know this is an uptrend? Yes. I said, when this market was going back up, the strength of this card would be stronger than JPY. But eventually, fingers turned the big boys will come in when they know this happened. All right. And when the big boys come in, eventually, can I tell you what happens in the market? You guys know, you guys, you know what sentiment means. An individual can cause sentiment depending on the volume they have. So when the big boys enter, all right, the volume is going to show that Volume, the volume. When you see Finvis, it shows you volume is leaving or coming. So if volume is leaving card, so someone may have card and sell it in the market because it got to a technical area. What's gonna show in the volume, all right? It's gonna drop strength. And guess what? The traders that are coming in, which are sentiment, they follow the bank. 
what will happen? They will start selling. And when they start selling, the price is going to start going. They what? Respond to what? Both sentiment and technical. That is what pushes price down. This is a little deep. Like I said, when you hear things that are a little deep, it shows you why you should learn in the academy, not just come here and take trades or want to trade. So technically done, repeated it again here. So that is what responded to good. So in technical areas, a previous ceiling, all right, in deep trading. So you can see my time is in one hour. It responded, okay? I'll break this down, not today, but on Thursday, I'm gonna show you deep technical analysis that you guys could win with. But now, when it comes to what? Strategy. So I've shown you what? Technical analysis. Ceiling is for a floor. Uh, ceiling is for a sell. Floor is for a ceiling. But I wanna show you guys something quick here right now, okay? So the first thing I said is, you wanna understand number one, the trend of the market. Have I said that? For you to trade technically, traders look at the trend. So write it down, number one, trend. Number two, TA and what? Technical analysis, TA, support and what? Resistance. So I already told you what a support is and I already told you what a resistance is. Is anybody, are you clear on that? Say clear. You clear on what the support is and you clear on what the resistance is. Let me know, say clear. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I know, you know nobody should have a problem. So here's the support because the market went up, right? Here's the ceiling because the market came down, okay? So whenever the market touches an area, the market went up, touched an area, came down, touch an area, went up, all right? So this is an area, area, of ceiling is an area of support. All right, good. What area is this? All right, someone tell me, please. What area is this? This area. Quickly, quickly, you guys do this. Do this for me quickly. What area is this? What area is this? What area is this? Ceiling, resistance, all right? What area is this? What changed? I need everyone to write down, price action. Okay. Market is dynamic. It has a future. You don't know what it's gonna do in the future, but one way of knowing what it's gonna do in the future, price action. All right, so price, price action states, all right, that a previous ceiling in an uptrend will become a present floor in a what? Continuous what? Uptrend. So these are what technical traders react to. And most of these technical traders are those with the big ball, the big volume. All right, so price action. Technical support resistance. I've shown you guys support resistance, right? You know how to get a support resistance. Click. <clears throat> okay. This price action. When you know this stuff, so I tell you, I'll, I'll play it over and over again, over and over again. All right. What area is this, ladies and gentlemen? What area is this, ladies and gentlemen? ceiling okay at some point did that ceiling became a floor area same area all right good so as long as the market is trending up price action states that a previous ceiling will become what a present floor i'm not talking about strategy right now i'm just teaching you guys what pure price action. Are you guys loving what you're seeing? Okay. This makes you know direction of the market. This makes you know how you, how you use the tool to simplify what you're trading. When you know this, 
You're not the one looking for trade. You, you determine, you may not say, okay, I understand how the market is going to react. So let me just go look at the simplicity in our graph. All right. Now, a lot, I bet you a lot of people are going to get this all wrong, but it's okay. All right. Wisdom is everything. Application is wisdom. Wisdom is experience. Do you know how you gain wisdom? How do wisdom come? Wisdom comes from what? Experience. Okay. So where is this? Where is this boy? Where is this boy? When the market started climbing up, what did he do? He located what? A previous area of what? A ceiling and made it what? A floor. So you want to always watch out. So in, as a technical trader, what I'd advise every technical trader in the market is, if the market is going up, look for what? Be good at identifying what? Ceilings. Don't be looking for flaws. Because you don't know what flaws, but you could know. Do you know if the market is going to make a certain area a flaw in the future? You don't. But you can know from the past what area is going to make a flaw. So I trade. I always tell you guys I trade what I see. You guys now understand what I'm trying to tell you. Put a yes on the chat. I trade what I see. What do I see? I see a previous area of a ceiling. All right? It has done it. What am I showing you? It's not what I see that I'm showing you. Good. So now look at this market. This is waiting to be filled. So in a trade like our JPY right now, what would a technical, if I want to buy the trend, what would a technical trader be waiting for? All right? A technical trader would be waiting for what? Price action. And this is called what? What is this called? Someone tell me in the chat. What is this called? Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, yeah. What is that called? Everywhere is on fire right now. Good, a retest. So what is a retest? A retest is a confirmation of a continuation. All right, can I, can I tell you all the truth? This whole thing I'm teaching you is all in your academy. You guys know? I learned it from the academy. A retest is a, how do I know something is going to continue on an uptrend when it retests? So what should I do as a trader? This is the knowing. I should look for where the market will have a possible word retest. I just showed you guys. If it doesn't pick this area, it's going to pick this area. All right? Because what? This is a ceiling. All right? Boom. If it doesn't pick this area, this, this I know. This I know are two areas. I want to be waiting for market for a continuation. It doesn't respond to this. It's going to come back at some point to pick these areas. All as the what? The uptrend move. You may still want to come back here, pick this, still an uptrend. So depending on the time frame you trade, these are the possible what? Reaction that the market is going to have. All right, so how do you trade your time frame? That is the question. Isn't that a big question? You're trading short term. How do you identify areas in a short term? All right, break it down. Now, short term are very volatile. So the reaction is not delayed, it's instantaneous. All right, it may slow, it may fast, varies depending on the volume. But you know what helps you, my friends? Strategy. I need everybody to put it on the chat. This is where you need strategy. So even the technical traders set their technicals on strategy. So I don't know which of this one is going to buy. Kenry doesn't know. I don't know because I'm not the one controlling the volume in the market. But one thing that can help me know is a tool called Hourglass. Because hourglass is a replication, simple replication of what I just shown you <laughs> in a small time frame. And if you put one or two things together, a simple person can, without knowing what I, I just showed you guys, you will do what? You will get the same result, right? But I'll tell you why my result will be different from someone who doesn't know what I know. 
Am I making sense? That's why I'm probably doing this training. I see the cry of people. I don't know if I'm like Moses, but I see people cry and they know how to trade. I see people even saying technical knowledge that black like, come on. I don't, I'm not doing what you're doing. No. But you're complaining. Our glass is stalling. Why are you stalling on me? All right, good. Watch it. How many of you, you can testify that you're not, you were not good at, it was a challenge getting support and resistance when you got started. Even till now, some of you is a challenge getting support and resistance. Just let me know in the chat, free fall, free fall on me, all right? Be good. When you don't respond, it means I'm not teaching. Good. So guess what? The simplicity of the strategy is to make what? What you don't know be visible to you. So what is critical in the market? I told you guys trend, right? Did I tell you trend is very critical? What is this? Put it on the chat. What is this? What does this imply? You guys are slow, you're shy. You're not responding so fast. Mm. I'm gonna slow down on you. What does this move imply? What does the indicator stand for? <laughs> it stands for a trend detector. It's called a super trend line. When the light, when the trend is going up, you see it green. So it shows you the trend, which is a critical thing to know in the market when the market is trending up. Another thing to show you the trend, which is critical. So it's not about just looking for a trade. It's about understanding the market before you get in on where you want to go. So another thing that tells me the trend is an indicator, a momentum indicator called RSI. When it's above 50, it shows me it's above what super trend. If, now imagine this, imagine if it's above 50 and it's above super trend, what does it tell you? Strong trend. So at least I established trend. So I mean, I don't know what Kenry knew, what Kenry just thought, I mean, I don't know, but an indicator, I can use an indicator to get the results, all right? Or I can use a software to get the same result Kenry is gonna get. But now I'm the teacher of it because I understand what causes those moves, but you don't, you just trade what you, what, happens because of what you thought. But me, I'm giving you the foundation of what is gonna make things happen. What makes the market react the way they do? At least to a greater extent, all right? So when, what is Bollinger? This green Bollinger happens, the, the band Bollinger, green serves as what? Support. The, the dot, the streamline. So if some of you don't know support. You don't even know where the market is gonna get a support. You don't. But through these green, green lines, you know these are areas the market has bought before. What did I say support is? Support is an area the market has bought before. Does that make sense? So there is a software that just simplifies everything. So even a newbie, so if a newbie knows that the market buys at the support, all you just need to look out for is what? A green. If a newbie understands that the market sells at a ceiling, all you need, need to look out for what? Is what a reg, right? And the putting together of some other things together with either the support and resistance, what we call a strategy, all right? So I want to interpret what I see in front of me right now. Are you guys ready? Okay. So don't be shy, all right? The same thing I've shown you guys on Card JPY. I want to, I want you guys to let me know if it played out here right now. We're now going to see the point system. Okay, so what trend is this, ladies and gentlemen? This is what? So what is this, ladies and gentlemen? Stay with me, stay with me. So I want to bring the naked thing that I just did with you guys. I want to bring it here, okay? Boom. So what is this? This is a ceiling, right? Established. Okay, good. Watch. 
No, no, I don't really want to do this too early. So let me just put the line that represents what ceilings, all right? So this is a ceiling, am I correct? So this is an uptrend. What did I say an uptrend is? An uptrend, okay, is when the market is moving up. What did I say price action is? The market would take a previous ceiling for a buy in an uptrend, all right, good. So I'm starting from here. I may go back, start from somewhere here. So let me just pick several ceilings. So this is a ceiling, all right, boom, okay? I just, what I'm doing right now, I'm just putting ceilings. You're good. So every line I'm putting in ceiling. So forget the dotted line you're seeing, all right? I want to show you guys something. So every red line is a ceiling, all right? Every red line is a ceiling, ladies and gentlemen. So this was a ceiling. So let's look at price action, all right? So the market started going up. At this point in time, consolidation, okay? At what point did it break the consolidation? All right. What is this area? Oh, I'm not good at, this is, it's crowded, right? It's so crowded, it's so crowded, hold on. This is AUDJPY. No, no, I don't wanna leave here. So guys, watch this. This is a ceiling, all right? Good. This is a ceiling, good. At some point in the market, at what point in the market did the market break this area? It broke this area, right? This is where it broke the area. Am I correct? You guys don't be shy, respond to me fast, quickly. So this market had never broken this area until what? It broke here. So this was what? A break. And it came back to what? That previous ceiling. What happened when it did that? You guys talk to me fast, all right? The only people that will be slow are those on Instagram because they're not really seeing the screen the way you guys are seeing it. I'm trying to see if I can make it a little bit more visible for them. All right, hold on. I want you guys to see what it is you don't see because you're just trying to trick. Mm. So, for those of you who are trying to trick, get a different dimension when you learn this. All right, hold on. I want to make this thing so clear. So I have those of you I know some of you know I'm on YouTube, but you're not on YouTube because you love Instagram. Okay, good. Are you guys seeing this now? It's better now. Is it better on Instagram? Let me see what you guys responded to. Good. So me, I'm a short-term trader, all right? If I knew this was a previous ceiling, like I always tell you, this is a ceiling, all right? This is a ceiling, okay? This is a ceiling. Like I taught you now that the market will buy the ceiling of an uptrend in a short time frame. Did it happen? Yes or no? Technically, did it happen? Yes or no? But did you know it was going to happen? No, you didn't. So what strategy? What does strategy do? Strategy says, all right, if you see this black line in the arrow, in the stochastic come to the green, is that a confirmation, yes or no? If this super trend line is above, so at this point in time, you know, this guy, if you get this thing today, you're done with trading. All right, so this was where it retested. You didn't know what I did. You didn't know it was gonna do that. So what does strategy do? Strategy tells you, the software, the strategy is put together tells you that whenever you see the stochastic at what? The green, it means it's for buyers. Okay, you add it to what? They say a green. So you go back and pass. Do you see any green line? Ladies and gentlemen, do you see any green line here? No, you don't. All right. For you to see a green line means it must have tested it before. So you see a green line. Okay. So you don't. The green that was waiting was these guys here in the past. Unless you would go back in time 
all right to pick a green so this what areas of green all right so this is a green this is a green which is amazing but some of you don't do this right you don't because why you are garbage in garbage me garbage in so I want to show you guys strategy. Where strategy gets beautiful. Strategy makes it simple. What I know now, what makes it simple for you? I can communicate it to you through strategy. How? If green comes to, if the black line in the stochastic comes to the green, it means what? That's good for a buy. That's one of what? That's one of the indications for a buy. If the base, if the base, if the base is stronger than the quote, as of this, stronger than the quote, that's what? For the sentiment, that fulfills the sentiment. The sentiment means if the base stronger than quote, I should buy, all right? Strategy implication means, okay, if I see, so at what point do I buy? If I see the stochastic at the green, two. Then the momentum trend, something to show me trend. RSI, if it's above, as at this point in time, my friends, was it above? Yes or no? All right? So good, one of the most beautiful thing in price action. So this is price action. Price action shows if the market is an uptrend. So how do you know it's an uptrend? RSI tells me it's an uptrend. So if the market is an uptrend, I will look for the ceiling, a previous ceiling and uptrend for what a future reaction of a flop. If I establish that price action as a technical trader and I come in, I see stochastic at the grain, RS, RSI at, over, at up the middle ground, because that's what you learn, all right? Up the middle, up, that, that's okay. Then I get an arrow. See, the truth is, it's not really the arrow. The arrow means nothing, really. The arrow for a beginner is just something to tell you what you should do. But for someone like you now that is gonna grow, you know what you wanna do. All you just need to do is wait for the best. The best is this at the buy zone. Because guess what's going to happen when multiple traders, do you think this stochastic that is here is a setting? It means billions or billions of traders know this setting. And when they apply to their trading and they see the same line at that area, what are they going to do? They're going to buy. So it means you are getting in when other buyers are getting. What did I say when buyers getting in a certain area? What's going to happen to the market? Push it. We're gonna push it up. So this is an indicator that tells buyers to get in. So if you get buyers in at the same time, you got in. What's gonna happen in the market? Boom! It's gonna shoot up. What happened? Shoot up. Did it shoot up yet? At least this is what for your strategy. This gave you what the boy. This gave you the bag. Three minutes, five minutes, whatever it is you took. Short term strategy. Everything was aligned. Currency. The floor, which is the previous ceiling, stochastic and red uptrend. You know what I just did? I just gave you foundation of trading that is interpreted by what strategy? Do you guys, do you, if, I, if you grab what it is, I get. now, another one. Okay, another one. Same area, watch it. Where is this? What's price above? A little above, even retested. What happened? It responded. Currency strength above. Okay. You know what I told you guys about when? So you see this? Price was still what? Above. You take this back, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So this is what I want to tell people, all right? You see these areas, you see the red? So this is the red. This is another area red. The market is dynamic. You don't know what it's going to pick, all right? This is one of the things a lot of people don't know how to do. They don't know how to have faith. Did the market come to that area? Did it come to that area? Yes. What area did it come to? It's an area that was a previous ceiling. They don't know how to have faith. So I say, strategy shows, the farther it is, I'm going to talk more on this tomorrow. 
I just wanted you guys to have a feel of everything that happens in the market that you see on strategy is just to make it simple for you. So if you really want to make it the real simplicity, stop looking for the strategy to give you trades. Look at the strategy to confirm trades. I'm done. You guys can start asking questions. Did you see the difference? How many of you got the difference in what I just said? No, 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 no. You guys are shy. You guys are shy. You guys didn't get it. The mistake a lot of people do, that is why they condemn themselves when the, the strategy does not give them trick is because they've not put in the work to understand that it was meant to what? Confirm trick. All right, so let me do a role play. I'm done with the training, all right, at least for today. So when I start to teach you the point system, you're going to understand the point system better. So let's go to a trade like AUD USD. What am I looking out for? So even if I don't know what it is, Cambridge, I just said, all right, good. What is this? This is a ceiling. The so first thing I like to do is a ceiling. So as a trader, all I'm just looking out for. If a trade comes to this area, I have fit. So guess what? It's at the green right now. In fact, it's going to move even before this area. So if it doesn't move here, it's going to move in another area. All right? So trade is going to start moving in anywhere around this area. So this is an up. It's already passed. All right? This is already green. This is above. So guess what? Even this area is value. The market is supposed to react. But what is not going to make you better in trading is when you now begin to work. So this is where it now makes you better. Kenry, what do you do? Set the tone for your analysis and wait for the market to fulfill it. Right? So I know this area is a previous ceiling. At least the closest one I see here as a ceiling is this boy. But guess what? Why is the market making a move here right now? Do you guys already know why the market is making a move? So if you took this area for a ride, Right, what area was that? Previous ceiling. So let's say someone took this area. Maybe that was the area they took, all right? They didn't want to take this one. This was, all right, this zone. If they took this area, would they have what? Had a complete reaction, yes or no? Stochastic was at the green. RSI was above. AUD was stronger than USD. That was a previous what? Ceiling. Would they have had a complete reaction? Yes or no? But what will make you have a complete reaction is when you experience it multiple times allow yourself to experience. I wouldn't know what I know today if I didn't experience it, some of you. So someone said in the chat, it's very scary. Honestly, the RSI too close to the grid. You're not trading RSI. You already know where you want to trade. You just want a confirmation. If the confirmation is not good, you can let it go. It's not meant to give you the trade. It's meant to confirm it, all right? Now, one of these I'm going to start teaching you tomorrow. I want to teach you, I want to go hard on you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Why simple though? Uh, how do I say this? This trade was going to buy up if you look at it on the 15 minutes. What trend is this on the 15 minutes? So in five minutes, five minutes is quicker. So you're seeing it close to the grade. But did he ever get did he get close to the grade on 15 minutes? It means in a longer range, this was eventually going to buy. Okay, in a ceiling. So guess what? If this happened to come down, I won't take this area again. The next area I'm going to take, because if it starts coming down, it's going to come down in a longer range, in a 15 minutes. All right, the next area I'm going to take is probably what? Shorter areas, all right? An area like this, so good. So it's going to go up. 
And when I start seeing that the market is rejecting, so this is the higher one. And this is deep. I don't want to do, I don't want to do too much of this. I just wanted you guys to see. Mm. All right. You guys are loving what, what I'm seeing here, right? So good. It peaked here. Can you see 15 minutes? Uh, can you see iris above? Picked it, went. Amazing, right? You guys can start asking questions because the truth is, I just wanted you guys to see this. All right. I just wanted you guys to see this. And the best confirmation is this. Do not allow the strategy give you trade. Let it confirm the trade. So you want to be good at one thing, identifying the areas you want to get in the market and allow the strategy. That's the only way you can learn patience. A lot of people ask me, Kenry, how can I be patient in the market? The reason you're not patient is because you're looking at it in the wrong way. You think it's going to give you. But when you know where you want to enter the market, you're going to wait for it. Am I correct? All right? When you don't know a bus stop, you're going to start running after every bus you see, and you're going to get tired. But when you know a bus stop and you've entered it several times in a certain area, no matter how people are running, you're going to wait in that bus stop. Am I correct? All right. I'm super grateful for you guys sitting here and learning what it is. All right. I think I'll spend an hour with you guys. Quite an amazing hour. Okay. If you guys got questions, you ask. We're going to continue on Thursday. Okay. We're going to continue on Thursday. Any questions? And tell me about what it is you learned from the session. Did you did it, did it shift anything for you on the session? Did you get any shift, mind shift? All right, okay, let me share. Let me see and see those of you on this front. And tell me what shifted, because I, I talked about a couple of things. All right, if you guys are taking notes, let me know what did you really get from this? Wow, burning. YouTube is burning. So can we get the recording from the lecture apart from this on Instagram? It's on YouTube, okay? Wow, man, I can't even catch up with the statement. <laughs> You guys talk to me on the chat. So let's let's take a zoom, 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 zoom. All right, you guys here. Yeah, use the strategy to confirm what your trade. Awesome. All right. Thirty minutes candle for the five minutes candle and hourly candle. Allow the strategy to confirm the trade, not the great. All right. Is what timing in the checklist? Can I tell you one of the good, odd things that a lot of you do? Very odd. All right? It's very odd. You know, I'm truth. You guys know that I represent truth, right? If you know I represent truth, type truth on the chat. I am very open to truth. I, I'm, not, I'm unapologetic to truth. I stand for truth. If I tell you anything, you can't beat me. You will love me more. All right? So allow someone to tell you what it is you're doing wrong. So one of the major, major things a lot of people do, they are distracted about what they want to learn, not what they, what they are being taught. Since I've been on this session, did I mention timing? Yes or no? I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't know, I don't know. But I want to just know feedback. Did I mention anything called timing? Let me know. Uh, I'm, no, 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 are you sure? I, I'm sure I mentioned it. Did I mention anything called timing? Okay, Instagram say no. YouTube. No, I didn't. Why would someone ask me what's timing on the checklist? What do you want to learn? That is the same thing that happens on the live. Someone is, do you know that I am designed to focus on what my student need, not what they want? 
So if I'm giving you what you need and you're asking, because at the end of the day, it's what I use it. All right. Hey, somebody have come and called me on, his, on my phone. No. You know, this dog, this people on Instagram. I know you guys can't hear me. All right, I have to put my on uh, airplane mode. I didn't know I would have done that. Okay. No, 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 it's good, my friend, it's good. I'm not putting you on the spot. I am challenging something that needs to die, all right? So that you can, people grow fast when you focus on what is in front of you, just like trading, trade what you see. We get these sessions every day. There are sessions I'm gonna train on time. There are sessions I'm gonna train on. Uh, just imagine that, like I said, I want to do, I wanted to do something and I didn't do it. Imagine someone is asking me, that 15 minute candle and the 45 minute candle. I never did it. So why are you asking about it? That's great distraction. And you lose time because guess what? The mind is very dynamic in nature. It's like, it's very volatile. When you shift its focus to something that is not being seen, it will make everything just disappear. You know, I stopped the session. I gave myself an instruction. If I go beyond what I've done right now, some of you are going to just lose. It's going to evaporate. So you get. So in the sessions, focus on, expand on what is being taught, right? Not what you want to be taught. Okay? You see how long we have to exercise to be a master like you. The day you make a decision to do this, that's the day you became a master, all right? Every other thing is just going to manifest over time. There's no timeline to it until getting better and better every day. The day you put a timeline to it to become a professional, why would I put a timeline and I want to become a professional trader? Timeline, it means I want to retire. No, I'll get better and better in trading. And that's what has happened. The part of the just is that of the shining light, get better and better. There are things I don't know, all right? But one thing I'm very good at, the ones I know, I am very good at application. So application makes, makes it feel like I know many things. But trust me, I just know a few things. All right? I just know a few things. Okay, good. Uh, someone made a suggestion that I should give room for vocal, but that, that would be biased. Don't you think so? You might not do it. Okay, you guys are special guests. All right, let's see if I can take one or two. I'll unmute the mic. Gozier. All right, I've given you the opportunity. So raise your hand if you are here. Mm. Wow, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I'm really live with Kenry. This is awesome. All right. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? I just want to make sure. Can you hear me? Opportunity to manually unmute yourself and ask. So Gozier, you raised your hand first. So go go ahead. Very can you quick, hear me, very Kenry? precise. All right. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, you can hear me. Um, hi, hi guys. I'm going to make this very precise. Um, it's an honor to be with Cambry. I'm not hearing so you. Are they... other people hearing? Can you guys yeah. hear me on Instagram? I got a call. I don't know if it disrupted. Can you hear me? Put in a yes if you can. I can hear you. I don't know if the others can hear me. Because yeah, we can't hear you. Can you hear you? Yes, I can. I can hear the both of you. Okay, you guys can hear me from Zoom. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we can hear you, but it seems can we get okay? Can you guys hear me now? I guess. Can, yeah. can, we, can you hear me? Yeah, of course, I can. Okay, <laughs> it's an honor to be here live with you. I'm gonna keep this short. Um, so Kenry, yesterday I traded, um, I took a couple of trades and I had quite a huge success. Now, my problem is the, the new RSI. No, 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 there is no problem. There is no problem. There is no problem. Um, can you guys hear me? Can I go ahead? No, you can't go ahead. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> there is a problem. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> because there is a problem, you can't go ahead. Okay, I'll wait. There is a problem. <laughs> Did you get? You didn't get that. <laughs> change your words, bro. Change your words. Change your words. There is no yeah, problem. just change you. your words. No problem at all. In double good place. Good man. Good man. Go ahead. Okay, go, I go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right, thanks, guys. Um, let me keep this short. So the new RSI, I, I realize, is quite sensitive. 
Now, um, I have trouble whenever it's below the, the, the dotted green or above the dotted green. Problem, because sometimes... No problem, no problem, no problem. We don't have problems. Oh, Please, my bad. No <laughs> problem. Okay, I have challenge. Let me use hold the word. On, hold on, Before you go ahead, before you go yeah. ahead, all right? Yeah. Three months from now, six months from now, you're going to wonder why you keep going back and forth. It's, it has nothing to do with your learning. It has everything to do with your mindset, what you're saying. Okay. Okay. I think I get you guys now. I was a bit tuned up. I had little challenge. <laughs> little challenge. Good, good, good. So I had little challenge, but I've been able to overcome that challenge. I just need confirmation. So I only took trades yesterday when the RSI was above the dotted green. And I yeah. had quite a huge success. I took about 10 trades and cleared nine of them. When it's below the dotted green, I, I have a challenge because I don't know if it's going to reverse on the trend because it's really sensitive. So I'd just like for you to please add your experience on that. Okay, good. Now, when the currency is strong and the, the, the RSI is below the green, again, that trade, leave that there. Do you get? Below the dotted green because it's still above the, 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 the gray line. So... By, by right, it should still be a buy trend. Okay, good. If by other indication, okay, the, the, the trade is for a buy, but RSI is below. RSI is momentum. Do you know what momentum stands in the market? Momentum goes ahead of what? Momentum is faster. It's a shadow that is in front of you. Okay. Okay. So it may detect what is going to happen. That's what momentum is for. All right. Okay. Just, just like this. How do you create momentum? If I sign up five leaders at a time, what's going to happen in my business? All right. Well, you're going to grow <laughs> because you have be, leaders. There's going to be speed of growth. It's going to cost yeah. momentum. So indicators show you what will happen based on the kind of volume that so the volume push so it depends on the volume that pushes the rsi so the rsi connotes volume so it may be faster than what you really see on the stochastic or the volume you see strength currency trend meter it shows you where the trend applies so if your currency is stronger for a buy stochastic at, at the level you want to be careful on the rsi because the rsi connotes what may happen before it happens. So you don't want to be caught up. Every other thing I like, RSI is not like. You don't want to be caught up. So you said something, you took nine, 10, 10 trades, and you won nine by simple application. Just do that in reverse for the sell. Okay. Right? For a sell, let the quote be stronger than the base. All right? Let the RS, the, uh, the stochastic get to what? The red zone. Let every other thing that is on opposite happen. Yeah, right. copy. You get copy. that right? Yeah, all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Henry. Yeah. You're right. welcome. Okay, good. Uh, Raymond. Henry, how are you, brother? Are you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm better. I'm bigger every day. Thank you. All right. Henry, one quick question. You have always spoken about price action. Just from on. my knowledge, from hold my on, knowledge. On, uh, uh, a, a little bit, a little bit. Just hold on. I want to, uh, Mr. Mr. Um, is it who, who came on now? Correct. Mr. Gozier, right? Correct mindset for success. Ah, uh, before that, yeah. Is it Mr. Gozier that I just spoke with? Yes, it was Gozier. Yeah. Did I address your? question um can we, i would like to say 60 percent to be honest because someone else is also buttressing my concerns um okay, that's so, why i am coming back to you okay so okay. He, think, he said okay this is what he said i think you're not getting him so I, that's why i stopped and let me know if i got you he meant rsi above the green dotted lines he took trade but below the dotted green lines all right but still above now he's, he he makes it a little bit more complicated. But when you mentioned, you said you took ten trades. You took ten trades for a buy, right? Is it for a buy? Yes, for a buy. Good. And the RSI was above the green. The dotted green. 
not the equilibrium, I made sure I was above the dotted green because whenever it's below the dotted green, it's very sensitive and I get confused because it can quickly switch to a downtrend. No, no, no. The further above, it, the further above the dotted green, the better your trade for a buy. Yeah. yeah. That is what okay. I noticed. Good. The, 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 if it's below the dotted gray, the dotted green, all right, the strength of the, the trend is weakening. Copy. Yep. All right. So I get, yeah. the way it's going to react is going to be maybe slower than when it's above the dotted green. Yeah. I just practice patience now and I wait for trades that are in that zone and I think I'm having good results from fantastic results. Just from yesterday, I'll keep practicing. Awesome. So that, that, that takes care of it, right? So if it, as long as it's above the gray line, the, the market will start moving. So the more it's coming down, it's going to start picking lower what entry, but it's still in an uptrend. So you just watch where you want to enter, right? But let it be above. Okay. And the further above it is, the better the trade. But you're not always going to see trades that are further above. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the problem. But yeah. Yeah. All right. That's Thank you. Yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, All right. Good. Good. So that's taken care of. Go ahead, bro. Now, as more of an experienced trader for so many years in the market, you have never probably thought us people from 300, 400 series, whatever you want to name it, price action of, for example, the 50s, the 100, the 150, the 300, the 200, whatever it is. There is a lot of reaction on those zones. Can you please tell us something about it? Mm, I want you to, can you share your screen and tell me what you, you, so that other people get, you know, when you're mentioning something and people are not getting it, look at, uh, like, we look like we're selfish. All right. Okay. When the price gets, for example, to 111, 100, 111, 200, 111, 250, 111, 300. Are you talking about that... price? Sorry, Camry? Are you talking about price? I'm talking about price action. Okay. So let me show you. So let me, let me try to, because I want to make it easy for those people that are. That are... Yes, please. If yes, you can please. share your screen, can you share your screen? No, I can't, to be honest. Let's okay. go, let's go off grid. Let's go off grid. Okay. We, okay, grid, let me grid, type in Grid on trading view. Yeah. Okay, grid. Grid on trading views. Okay, hold on. Okay, I, know, so, I know, so sorry. I'm referring different. to this, right? Yes, 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 100%. Good. Good. All right. So what's your question? <laughs> so what's your question? So what's the question that uh, if they could be used for support and resistance or what, I, I want to understand the question. Yeah, the question is that a lot, most of the time, always price reacts on the price action, like the, the numbers, the 150, the 100, the 7,000, the whatever it is, the last three digits. So the price got to you... 900 <laughs> reactor. Okay, good. I love it. I love it. I love it, but honestly, I don't use it. You don't use it? Yeah, I don't. All right. In the sense okay. that um, there is, okay. Some people call it there are institutional price in the market. But you know what? If I start mentioning some things in the market, you guys are going to run. Right? You guys are going to be so confused. So what I do is my, my nature of training, I train what you see, all right, easily. So there are institutional price in the market. Like when you come to a price like uh, USD, JPY, there are certain price that volume the world, banks, all right, is they call it institutional price. But guess what? Every time I mention that, I feel I'm complicated. You guys understand me? Put in a yes or no. Yes. One more <laughs> thing. One more thing I want to tell. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. One more thing I want to tell you. Sorry, Cambry. You are my bigger brother. But one today, you confused us. On, on. I am I am following you for some 
period of time. Stick okay. to our zone, brother. Okay. To, to, to our pace. Okay. Can okay. you see? E Are you saying about the training today? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, it's a little bit confusing, right? <laughs> Very much confusing. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. I, I, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me say this for for everyone who share. All right. Um, maybe that opinion, that idea. Mm. For you to shift from your comfort zone, something discomforting must come to you. Mm. Right, you end as a result of your comfort zone. What you're comfortable with right now. So let's say the knowledge you have right now that you're comfortable with can only pay you to an extent. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you to move to, okay, good. For you to move from to, city oh, from city to city. Good. For you to move to another, I have to shift that comfort and introduce something new. And it's going to take you time to get that new thing. But that new thing is supposed to give you what? A new what? Income. Yeah. So that is why I said that this is not basic. Did I say it in the beginning? A hundred percent. You said Good. that it, this is not my environment, but I'm going to teach you. Good. So this is not basic, but what is going to cost you to do is going to create a one thing in you to want to learn the basics because if you know the basic and you add the intermediate you're here you're where i am and that's what a lot of people get to ask me someone just asks on youtube how can that how long is it going to take me for you to master this thing the way you do all right a lot of people get to, what a lot of people are looking for is mastery what i tell people is application application brings about mastery so how do you apply how can you apply something you don't know all right it comes from practice and learning every day. Like follow, follow, follow the the pay the thing. So you get familiar. So guess that is it. What I've done now. Do you know that? Because the goal is to empower traders to be. We want to have more traders teaching billions. So if we want to get to a billion dollar corporation, or we want to have a million students, right? Guess what? Maybe as I'm growing, my schedule is going to grow. I need more traders that could cover up for me. Don't you think so? Raymond George, Australia, you can take over that. Yeah, 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 baby. I'm one, I'm one of them. <laughs> I have to teach you to know the skill. See, I'm, 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 I'm a buyer. See, a lot of people don't understand the way I think, right? Yeah. This is how I think. I don't love people being dependent on me. I feel I'm more of a partner than a leader. Correct. That is how I feel. I'm more of a partner. I want, I want to come on a session and someone is telling me, someone is sharing, Cambry, this trade is ready. This is what you're going to take. And I'm excited. Good. Call it out. All right? Not everybody waiting for me to call the trade. I want people to be at that level. So what I do is I give the best of all myself for people to understand. I don't keep out any, I don't like to keep out something so that people would always come to me. <laughs> all right? Yeah. Hey. It means I'm not growing. That is me. I don't, I don't know who shared maybe some traders, some educators or some entrepreneurs. Don't see that way. But me, that is, I feel like, I feel free when people know what I know. I even know it more better than I do. All right? That, that is my ideology. It's, 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 it's a strange ideology in this environment, but that is, I love it. That's what I've been commissioned to do, to make people better at what I, what I do. So if you come in and you take my space right now, I'm going to be excited. All right? Because guess what? It doesn't stop my income. It just shows that I can sit and I see someone who's learned from me empowering the world. It's still the glory. God gives me the glory. And I'm more focused on God's glory than man's glory. Absolutely. Man will say, I am foolish. I've taught someone they are not taking my income. But God says, I have empowered someone who could replace me. Now I can focus on what? Helping other people. You're, mm -hmm. not, you're, not, you're not retiring, brother. Sorry. Is that? I said, you're not retiring soon. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> he, want, he, he wants to leave us. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. All right. Who else wants to answer that? Uh, take a question. So thank you, bro, for that. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. A good, uh, you know, question and answer time is all is very, very important. Uh, okay, so uh, we've taken all the questions. Uh, let me see. I don't know if the people here on Instagram are uh, okay. Hold on, I right. okay, good. Let me let me take let me take someone on Instagram. I don't know if you're gonna, you guys are gonna hear. 
so I'm not biased, but I can't take YouTube. YouTube, sorry. Okay, I just allowed someone now. Okay, hold on. Give it another person. I want to. I want to be fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're on YouTube, just post it out on YouTube. I'll see it. Ah, man, it's busting the question. Someone said, I've learned, I learned most things from Ken Rido. I've been in the academy 15 months. I'm trying to have, did I hear someone from, okay, let me have, I'm just trying to give. Any question I did take, give it time, experience and practice, give the best expertise. All right. I understood everything before the pricing thing. Okay, good. How are you doing, friend? Hi, Julie, how are you? I'm super excited and bigger and better. How are you? Can you? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. You know what? I am um, going to be my first today. Oh, wow. uh, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I want to. I want to put the mic on. Let me see if they can hear. I don't Bluetooth mode. Hearing. The yeah. Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Hold on. The Bluetooth device paired. Go ahead. Let's see. Go ahead. Speak. All right, you good? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Can you guys hear? Okay, good. You can hear. I can go hear ahead. you. Yeah. It's a little bit of a lag, but I can hear you. Okay, good. Go ahead. So basically, I found you at the right time. Uh, congratulations to being number one educator. I know, I know. But guys, hey, Braylon, you guys, if you don't know, I heard about Henry a while ago. This is a man who is the definition of overcoming, right? And persistence and dedication. A lot of times we don't want to stay persistent, right? And Kimry was in a right space at the right time. He had to be a, a trader, but now he's number one because it's his time, right? So, I, Kimry, I just have to your energy. I already know how to trade. I am a disciplined trader, but it was that mindset that was blocking me, and I needed that so much. So, Kimry, I wanted to say thank you so much. God bless you. Thank God. All right. Thank you. You know, you guys make me want to, I don't know why I'm not adding weight. Why? Can someone tell me why? Because the kind of things you guys tell me, I'm supposed to be adding weight. I'm supposed to be fat. Like, I'm supposed to be, like, all shaped up. All right. So thank you. Thank you for jumping on and sharing that great value with us. Wow. I hear things every day, you know. I feel good. Sometimes I don't eat, but I'm living. Maybe because I'm using the words to stay more than food. That's why I'm not adding weight. All right, thank you guys. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, okay, let's see if I could shoot one on. Mm. Can anyone answer me, please? I can, how can I subscribe for the hourglass alone and not joining the academy? Oh my gee. <laughs> that's, that's a tough question. <laughs> Greg, Mr. Greg, what do you have to say? What do, what do you have to say? <laughs> I mean, no, you can, You need to take the full package. That's a tough question. <laughs> you can't take one thing and, and say, I, I'm not taking the other one. No, you, you need to take it all. <laughs> okay, good. Now, someone would not understand what you have said, all right? But let me make it easy for everyone. Because, see, at some point, people find a way to shortcut the process. They don't want to pay. Can I tell you, when I said that, you see this training I've done, all right? For most people, they will take this training, they watch the recording, and they will not do their subscription again. I see, I guarantee you, there are people who are going to be that. All right? But guess what? It's the same Kenry that will tell you this. It's not training that makes you successful. You can, if I, I can give you my brain, that wouldn't see make you successful. What really makes everyone in this environment? What made me gain the success that I've gained? Can I tell you that I've known all these things? When I came in, I studied like a goat, like a fool, like I was brainwashed. I studied like something was wrong with me. All these things, I didn't know them now. I've known them since. I followed Christopher Terry, Market Mastery. I watched HFX, uh, I watched Crypto Forex. I knew technical analysis and I stayed on to Christopher Terry. But guess what? These things are playing out more right now because I have a different mindset. I've been able to learn the mindset in this environment, the success, all right, in this environment. It's showing up now, okay? What makes me successful is not the trade that I know how to trade. What makes me successful is the environment I've been able to advance myself. Okay. 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 Okay.
So, what I pay for in this environment, all right, is the people I'm connected to because spiritually, who you see, what you see and hear, you're going to become. So, if I'm connected to multiple six figure earners, talk to me every day. All right, and I see what it is they do. Guess what? I'm going to do what it is they do, and I'm going to become who is it they are if I see it over a period of time. You guys get it? So if you like, pay for the two, or don't pay. <laughs> or you come in this environment, and all you're thinking of doing, let me know how to trade. Congratulations. Okay? Do you have any rules for yourself as to when you let go of a trade? Yes. I have a rule, and guess what? That rule is difficult to obey. But you practice it over a period of time, you're going to stay there. All right? Have a rule of what you're willing to give for what it is you want to, what? What, what it is you want to gain. Have a rule for what it is you're willing to lose for what it is you want to gain. So I have $1,000 in a day. I want to lose maximum of $50 to $100. I don't want to lose more than $100, all right? If I get to the threshold of 50, I'm already getting tired of what? But sometimes it can be dark. It can, be, it can, it can get off, all right? But that's why I tell myself, you shouldn't have done this. So next time, I don't want to do it. I beat myself so that I don't do it next time, okay? And I have a trading partner who's so making me not want to do it. And that trading partner is my wife, all right? I don't like myself if I lose above what I'm supposed to lose. Not because I'm not going to make it back, but the reaction I'm going to get Eh? Next time, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I have, a, I have a trading check, okay? She has kept me on check, discipline. So one thing you need to do is have, have trading partners, have people you, you are accountable to, accountability partners in trading. It could be your friend, it could be your downline, uh, your, your success line, all right? It could be your upline. Just let them, people you are accountable to. So you know that you're not gonna mess up because you know that less money you're gonna send your, what, your result to them. You don't want to mess up, all right? It's going to help your discipline. It's going to keep your discipline in check when you have an accountability partner. Does that make sense? Okay. And I got lots of questions, but I can't take everything. You guys just, you know, put, put some things together and ask this thing. Maybe we're going to do more of the question and answer on Thursday, okay? So uh, I really want to appreciate everyone. Thanks for giving it time, okay? Basically, if you only take hourglass, you don't, uh, okay. Man, so much love here. Yeah. So much love. So much love. God bless you guys. All right. I really want to appreciate everyone. Stay connected and follow instructions. Okay. That is the secret to success. Staying connected. I can only be connected. I can only follow instructions when I stay connected. So who is instructing you? I have people instructing in my life. My mentors are the ones that give me instruction. It's not the I am academy. Because of the I am academy, I'm not connected to mentors that are multiple seven-figure income earners. And when I take instruction from multiple seven-figure income earners, that it shows that I can what I will be a multiple seven-figure income earner, and I can help people. I can help people get to multiple seven-figure. It's just a blueprint, right, in the spiritual environment. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Thank it's you. It's gonna be on YouTube. All right. We don't have music, so you guys can share it, and I believe I. I will beat every of the compliance thing so you guys can share it with the